At the end of the previous video on my channel, I said that I might as well let the flow carry me to see what awaits me. So I carried myself to Georgia with her gorgeous views both in reality and on banknotes. I was there on a special mission of exertion taking my college exams, but there wasn't any way I would just sit in the room for the remainder of time. You see, it turned out to be quite the opposite. We lived in the district called Chukurati, and Tbilisi is overall administratively divided into 10 districts, almost close to the metro station Mardinishvili. Navigating the subway system wasn't particularly tough, as it only has two lines, which intersect at one station, which almost nullifies the chance of getting lost. Almost. Well, streets don't count. We spent the first half of the first day looking for a SIM card store. We opted for selfie. Eventually, highly recommend this company, by the way. The internet connection was flawless. The Baki district presented a part of the new city with high modern buildings and lots of graffiti on the walls. Later, we saw the old city for the first time, the famous bridge of peace and the tubes, the music theater by the architects Fuxus in Ricky Park, which offers a bunch of sculptures, biking trails, cafes, kids playground. Speaking of cafes, the design of this cozy bar in the form of tram completely swept me off my feet. The job of a barman includes talking to all sorts of people with different stories to tell. I hope we told a good one, not the one of stranded tourists seeking refuge from unfavorable weather, waiting for the rain and clouds to dissolve. I love cable cars. It's almost like you're hung up in the air but moving and sightseeing from this height. We walked great distances and climbed enormous hills and even mountains as the much summoned sun reappeared on the sky. You can pretty much see the vastness of the whole city and open museum from the Narikala Fortress complex. I analyzed every single landscape as a potential puzzle canvas I could put together. Puzzles did teach me to pay attention to tiny details and appreciate the natural composition. Kinsmar Rauli wine ice cream was worth every lorry. You haven't been to Georgia if you haven't tried Tatcha, which is a Georgian pomace brandy, clear and strong, which is sometimes called wine vodka or grape vodka, and Truchella. <laughs>
We managed to be just in time for the Liberty Square weekend market, which you absolutely can pass by without chilling out for pretty trinkets by local masters. Even though I was a little girl when we traveled to Barcelona, the Vista Valley Avenue brought this city back to my mind from the depths of memory. Tbilisi is filled with picturesque, cozy summer yards, idle escapes from reality. I got this feeling that even though you might have a guided tour and a prepared list of landmarks to discover, you'll stumble upon something unexpected anyway. Spectacular views require some leg strength and a funicular amidst tall pines and cypresses. If you happen to be around the Tbilisi State Marina Theater at 12 or 7 p.m., you'll witness a show, The Cycle of Life. We use Tripster to randomly book an excursion in the evening to plunge right in. Before going to bed, I said quietly, I don't want you to plan dreams in me when I am more excited to see the morning. Don't burden my lids with sleep. I have plans for tomorrow. When your tourist guide is a native of that area, you know the trip is saved. They tell you the authentic stories and you live vicariously through them. This is the privilege of the front seats, the proximity. This is actually my third time in the Caucasus Mountains. Our first stop is Jinvali Reservoir, situated 70 kilometers from Tbilisi on Georgian Military Road, which will lead us to Ananuri, a castle complex on the Aragvi River. It's named after a brave woman, Anna, who, although tortured by the enemy, didn't reveal the location of the tunnel which saved the lives of the besieged people. Our international minivan of Russian, Chinese, Arab, English people listen to Georgian folklore and contemporary music all the way in between our stops. The more various dishes I tried, the more I realized that Georgian cuisine is incomparable. In the South Caucasus, in the land in between Europe and Asia, cows just wander along the highways like stray dogs in the city center. The Gudauri Ski Resort in the Stepansminda district doesn't look snowy in summer, it looks beautifully green. We're at an elevation of 2,200 meters above sea level and have learned to manage the high altitude sickness. 25 grams of medavuha inflate the blood veins, making it easier to breathe. Russia-Georgia Friendship Monument, the Treaty of Georgiev's Monument, is large round stone and concrete structure overlooking the Devil's Valley. It depicts some scenes in the history of the two countries in vivid murals. I've always thought it was unfair that Pushkin is revered as the exemplary author everyone refers to as the golden standard of Russian literature. Lermontov always felt enigmatically closer. There's something heartrending in his relationship with the Caucasus and Kazbag, over which he wanted his ashes to be scattered in the gorge. Mountains were like a cradling lullaby for his restless soul of tormented vitriol. 
Mountains make you feel either romantic or pensive. 5,054 meter Tazbag stands aloof and proud, adorned by the clouds and the snow. When I was barely standing on my feet, a local band was having a blast ride on the square. Tbilisi never sleeps. Tomorrow will be a good day. Turtle Lake woke up later than we did. Can you imagine it's on the northern slope of the Tatsminder Ridge? Cable cars are an actual means of transportation here, not only for tourists. We learned that Holy Trinity Cathedral of Tbilisi is the main cathedral of the Georgian Orthodox Church and also third tallest Eastern Orthodox Cathedral in the world, in which we witnessed the wedding ceremony and rituals. It's amazing how I extend my multitasking streak even when I'm not from in a familiar place. I listened to some tips for my upcoming test and visited unforgettable places, getting lost and found on stairs, corners, Queen Darijan Palace. If you're ever in Tbilisi, you have to go down to the Maiden Bazaar. It doesn't look like a regular basement, but like a dungeon or a pub in a medieval castle. I always go for the short active vacation that leaves you pleasantly exhausted and not rested. I have no words to describe how jaw drop the Georgian scenic views leave me every hill and mountain that I climb. Coming to see the Chronicle of Georgia by Zarab Teritali, consisting of 16 pillars, 30 to 35 meters tall, featuring kings and queens and heroes and several scenes from the life of Christ, in the evening turned out to be one of the smartest decisions during the whole trip. Summer continues to be the first time for everything. I saw the sun set behind the mountains in a handful of seconds. I would say that the overwhelming majority of streets bear a name of an outstanding person who made history. For example, Shota Rustavali, a medieval most prominent Georgian poet, the author of The Night in the Tiger's Skin. By day six, I've come to be able to memorize the location of every district and I could put my finger on the mouth like an actual Tbilisi resident. We were a bit disappointed that we spent 35 lari on the Georgian National Gallery that had only two floors, with mostly questionable art even for proponents of avant-garde and non-conformist artists like myself. All summer long, we sang a song, and then we strolled that golden sand. Two sweethearts and the summer wind like painted kites. So after taking a stroll around the dry bridge flea market, probably the hugest spot where you could buy a vintage antique item, we came across several local painters who sell their works on the street, and some of them were so worth being exhibited and commemorated in a gallery, I swear. But this is what it is. We know the fickleness, blindness, and belatedness of recognition. I bought myself a ring in the shape of a theatrical I mask I will never part with, which signifies both my vow to loving theater and me being excessively dramatic as well.
I want to keep all of this in my memory. I want to keep the sun bleeding into my back as a place as it is now and all the engraved sights, couple of days and years after.